good morning to all 7th standard biology the previous class we introduced the 7th standard biology portions today we goes to a chapter 1 biology nutrition in plants okay nutrition in plants the first chapter 1 nutrition in plants the first page all are take your science book take the first page okay in this lesson the four concept the first one types of nutrition the second one autotrophic nutrition the third one heterotrophic nutrition the fourth one replenishing nutrition okay the four topics the first one types of nutrition the second one autotrophic nutrition the third one heterotrophic nutrition the fourth one replenishing nutrients okay four varieties of concept in this lesson okay first one what is a nutrition you studied the previous class in 6th standard we studied the food the need of food and also food varieties sources ingredients etc okay uh, in this 7th standard you studied what is a nutrients then mode of nutrients etc the deep study okay first one what is a nutrition what is a nutrients carbohydrate protein fat vitamin and minerals these are components of food which are necessary in our body are called nutrients okay carbohydrate protein fat vitamins and minerals are components of food which are necessary for our body and are called nutrients okay then what is nutrition nutrition means is the mode of taking food by an organism and it is utilization by the body and it is utilization by the body okay that is called nutrient nutrition okay so what is nutrients components of food carbohydrate protein fat vitamin and minerals that are necessary for our body called nutrients then nutrition what is the nutrition nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization of the body okay of the body then mode of nutrition the types of nutrition in plants the two main types of nutrients the first one autotrophic and the the nutrition nutrition divided two major groups the first one autotrophic and the second one heterotrophic okay autotrophic autotrophic means auto means self trophos means nourishment okay the trophos means nourishment the two main groups mode of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic autotroph means auto means self trophos means nourishment okay the best example in autotrophs plants okay the best example in autotrophs a uh, plants then heterotrophs hetero means other trophs means nourishment okay hetero means other and trophs means nourishments okay apo heterotrophs means so heterotrophs means it is dependent for the food for others okay they are dependent the food for others so it is called heterotrophics autotrophs means they made their own food they made their own food okay 
plants prepare their own food by using raw materials okay plants prepare their own food by raw materials okay we get nutrition from the food we eat the four two modes of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition green plants which prepare their food they know as autotrophs okay all the other organism that depend on green plants of their food are known as heterotrophs so the plants are called producers you know that the food chain the food chain first start producers okay which one is called producers the plants because they made their food by own okay they made their food by own okay so what is the difference between autotroph and heterotrophs first autotroph they are organism which can make their own food okay they prepare their food from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll you already studied photosynthesis okay all green plants are autotroph okay these are autotroph characters then heterotrophs these are organism which cannot make their own food it cannot make their own food okay this organism depend directly or indirectly on autotrophs for their food it directly or indirectly depend on autotrophic okay for their food all animal and non green plants are undergoes heterotrophs okay so the first one the first page explain the what is nutrients what is nutrients and two types of nutrition in plants autotroph and heterotrophs okay what is nutrition to main type major type autotroph and heterotroph so students all read the page number 1 okay thank you